We have all these people that are literally making millions and doing what they love. Why can't we? What's stopping us? Why is our faith so little that it can't be us? It can't be you next. I don't know. Or a side hustle. I'm feeling strangely safe today. I am amazed and brave today. I rearrange my brain today. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for watching and thanks guys for 100 subscribers! Um, with I went with my Milk Hydro Primer as usual and then I went today with my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. Um, I'm gonna apply a little bit more because I missed a few spots. But um, this week has been like, I wouldn't say a bad week, but definitely a week where I felt off for sure, mm, both mentally and physically. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my um, ColourPop concealer and conceal underneath my eyes. Um, and I know why I was off. This week I kind of fell off spiritually, like I wasn't praying as much as I should and devoting myself like a week and a half honestly and I felt like it definitely took a toll on me mentally <sighs> with like everything that's going on being quarantined and stuff and I'm just locked in my room I'm just overthinking the per I'm, I'm a type of person that'll overthink and overanalyze things and I will just put myself in a bad mood pretty much. If I distance myself from God on top of that, then I feel really lonely. And I had a realization last night actually about it. And I was just like, okay, I know why I've been feeling like this, feeling like, um, feeling like I'm not good enough at this or feeling like, or doubting myself, doubting my capabilities. Um, pretty much just picking at myself. Pretty much tearing myself apart for absolutely no reason. Like, I don't know. Um, absolutely, for absolutely no reason at all when I know exactly what I'm doing. I've been visioning doing this. I've visioned and planned and prayed and for some reason as soon as you fall off course with God that's whenever the devil tries to swoop in and take you off course then at those moments you put you you gotta force yourself to get it back on I definitely I do not want to fall in that hole that's for sure because that week and a half alone, I was just like, man. But like, I'll tell you, like one thing I've been talking to God about is, you know, my plans and visions of my life. I also have a dream board. If you guys don't know what a dream board is, Google it, because I'm not gonna show y'all my dream board because there's people that will pray against your dreams and your ambitions. They literally will pray against it. There literally will be people that'll wish bad upon you. And I don't have time for that. But if you Google or if you search on YouTube dream boards, it's basically where you um, search online for everything that you want in this life for every all the things that you're trying to accomplish this year. Maybe you want a raise or a new car, put the dream car that you want, this and that. Maybe you're trying to finish school, you'll you know find a picture of that diploma, put it on that board. So you see it and you visualize it in your mind every day, every day, every day until, until the day that you decide to take that step and do it. And then once, you know, taking that step is scary because you don't know the outcome, but then you have to go by faith. You have to go by faith and then just, just see what happens. What I had to do with God, um, and this is something that me and him talked like last year about. It was just like, God, you know, I've been wanting to do this YouTube thing. You know, I want to do the interior design. You know, I love makeup. You know, I like, you know, this is something I would like to do. I would love to do, <laughs> erase that. And I know it's scary, but I know I'm talented. And guys, I know, like for sure, for sure, I know that I know. 
Um, for instance, like interior design is one of my passions. Like decorating, um, it's always been a part of me. My mom, she's really good at it. And just seeing her do it, she has a different style of it. She's more traditional, but I don't know, just seeing her do it and how she transforms her home. And I was always into that, so I got into it. And when people would come into my my home, my apartment, and they'd always be so impressed, like, oh my God, Sarah, I like this, I like this, you know, and then I would like give things away to people and, and you know, and they'd like it and it would always make me feel so good. I don't know, I just had the opportunity to transform this room and I said, let me do it. Let me film it from the process and put it out there and show people what I can do. And I didn't know what to expect. I prayed about it and I was like, hey God, if I can just get a hundred views this month, I'll be so grateful for it. You know, you know, if you if you really love me, God, give me a thousand in like three months or so, maybe even six months, you know? I'm flexible. And he surpassed that, you know. He did more than I imagined. So I just had to take that leap of faith and start it. I mean, it's not always gonna happen. Sure, I wish I could make get a thousand views and get actually fifty thousand views for every single video, but I just started and that's not the reality of life. But it is what it is. It is what it is. But and then as far as the makeup goes, like I've I've always always been into it since I was Since I was 11, like literally, since I was 11, wearing makeup, lashes, <laughs> just buying things I don't even need, and my mom would just be confused, oh why? But she never like told me I can't. She just let me, and she's like, all right, Sarah. <laughs> she told me I was too young, but you know, it is, she saw that I liked it, so she never, you know? And I just got better with it over time, and you know, and I got serious with it, and then, I stopped and then now it's just like, I wanna I wanna do it again. Like I, I love it so much. I wanna get better at it. I want to improve, I wanna grow, I wanna learn. I don't, I don't want to work a nine to five and have a boss. I wanna be my own boss. And I feel like that's where I kind of get conflicted with the African culture because, you know, with the African culture, it's like be an engineer, be a doctor, be a nurse, like accountants, like, you know, like normal nine to five jobs. And if you do something out of the norms, it's risky, you know, because you, they, you know, it's not like, it's risky. That's just point blank period. It's like, do I chase the money or do I chase something I know is my passion and that not only I am talented in, that I know I can make money from and grow from, be better at it. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm just, it's just like a hobby. This is something I know I love doing it. I will want to learn from it. I will wake up every single day happy to go do it, excited, passionate about it, versus me going in, miserable, making all this money, trying to figure out what my next vacation is because I can't stand it. And I guess that's where I'm always conflicted. It's just like, I, I understand they want stability, but how do you know something? Like even right now, like this whole this whole Corona thing right now, there's people that lost their jobs that have careers. You know what I mean? That have good paying jobs, that lost their jobs. Which, this is my year five, I need to finish. Um, my first two years of school, I was a bio major and um, I decided to shadow two doctors because I was sure that I was either going to go to medical school or I was going to go into dentistry. Um, because my dad 
um, as a doctor and I was thinking dentistry because it was less time, less years to finish school. So whenever I shadowed the first doctor, the first doctor was like, don't do it, Sarah. I hate it. I should have done computer science, this, that, and the third. He was just complaining left and right, left and right. Like he just hated his job. So I'm just like, you know, I'm just like, you know, I'm excited and trying to shadow a doctor, you know, get this sh money. And literally I was like, yeah, I wanted to help people. That was like, I love helping people. I like making people feel good. Um, and that was the motive to be a doctor and also the money. So I go to this guy and he's like, don't do it. So that's discouraging. All right, I see another doctor who was my primary physician. I shadowed him. He told me the same thing. He hates it. He doesn't like his job. Um, he was an older doctor. He said he was like, oh, back in the 90s, we could spend more time with our patients. Now they teach, they, they, they treat us like um, mules because they have to see a certain amount of patients a day to make, um, make even with pay or something. Like they have a, a quote of patients they have to see a day of something with the new system. So that was discouraging too. And the classes were really intense and I was just like, I was miserable, I didn't like it, I I, I hated it. And in the back of them, on my mind, I always knew I was always into the arts. I've always been into that and it was just like, do I do this? Do I do something that is risky that some people might not understand or might even look down upon because some people will do that like not even you know that's the thing I it's not like I dropped out of school or anything I definitely am still in school I just had to change my major from bio to business management because for one I, I do want the degree for myself and you know the business major if I for what I'm trying to do it'll be nice to have I, it's not necessary but it'll be nice to have I'm going in with my Perception palette. I'm just gonna do a, a simple neutral eye. I'm about to do a, a try on haul for y'all. And I just need like a simple, a simple eye. And I also need to curl my hair, okay. It's like, if, if you could get paid to do anything, if, if you could get paid to do something that you love doing, would you do it? versus waking up every single day, you complain about your job every single day, but because of that paycheck, you're doing it. And my dad is like the type to tell you what you should do. Like, Sarah, you should be a nurse. I don't wanna be a nurse. I don't, I have no interest whatsoever. Have I thought about it? Yes, simply because income? Okay, that's nice and maybe stability, sure. But it's not what I wanna do. It's not, it's not, it's not my purpose. Like, I literally would just be miserable. I would just wake up every single day complaining. And I feel like, I feel like my life is more than just waking up every day going to work clocking in to pay bills. I feel like my life is more than that. I feel like my life is, um, I feel like our lives are meant for us to chase our dreams and our ambitions, be successful. I mean, isn't that why we moved to this country? Isn't that why all of us moved to America for? We literally all moved to America, migrate here for us to chase our dreams. Just for us to be limited on what we do. Hmm. If you want to be a chef and you already, you know, you got the skills there, you know, be better, be willing to learn, be even, go to the classes, go to the travel, meet other chefs, learn their knowledge. There's nothing wrong with that. Be more open-minded. I don't know. I just know I'm not meant to work for people. I just know I'm meant to be my own boss. I'm not gonna work on to five. I know I'm not. I'm gonna have my own company. I know that. I'm putting culture on top to make sure it's blended. 
I mean, it's different if you already knew when you were younger, like, oh my God, I've always wanted to be a lawyer. Then all right, cool. But if you knew that you always wanted to do something different, but society tells you to do otherwise, if everyone thought like that, then we wouldn't have the people that we have now. You know what I mean? I'll do, let's use spill the tea. So yeah, that's kind of where my headspace has kind of been. I'm taking the risk is scary. It really is. Like, I feel yeah, but. <sighs> that's life. Taking the risk is really scary. You don't know what's going to happen. There will be ups and downs and you just have to literally just go by faith and pray and eventually you are gonna get there. You have to. If you serve the God that I serve, you will, like you will. <sighs> Easier said than done though. Think about all the people that are making mad money and they love what they do. Your bosses are literally chilling in their mansions. They're seven bedroom mansions with their maids. Not even concerned about this. Like Corona does not even concern them. They're just like, okay, they're unbothered by it because everything they need is provided because they, they have money in the bank, period. I'd rather just be that boss. I would rather be that boss, to be honest. All right, in the center here, I will take Diva. I'm not a Diva. So yeah, that's a conflict right there. Mm. So yeah, I just feel like if you know you've always wanted to do something, you got the talent there, chase it, man, just chase it. If you want to go to college and get that degree, do it. Just do it. Life's too short, man. And you don't want to spend your time saying what if. Fun fact, I had a YouTube channel like four years ago. I started it and I like quit after like three days or like a week. I don't even know how long my YouTube channel lasted four years ago. Now I'm looking back like, I'm so mad at myself. Why did I quit four years ago? The amount of growth I could have had, the possibility of where I could be by now. If I just kept going, if I just kept being consistent. Even if I had, okay, even if I had 100 subscribers. By the way, I have 100 subscribers right now. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate it. Even if I had 100 subscribers, that's growth. Even if I kept going from then and now and I had a thousand, that's still growth. Like, I don't know. What if? Living life in fear? Because you are concerned about what people may say or what people may think and crazy. They was This palette is bomb. dramatic makeup like it's not me and I need to like stop forcing myself out of my comfort zone like on clients sure but on me it's just not me like I tried like with the last tutorial with the lashes and the glitter and all that cool but 
I like looks like this. Like, where would I wear a green polka dotted? I mean, no offense, but it's pretty. But it's definitely like an Instagrammy look, you know. I wouldn't wear an Instagrammy look in reality. Like, where would I? I feel like it's funny because every single time I talk to someone that's African about what they want to do, it's always the same answer. Everyone wants to be the same thing. So I'm just like. I always wonder if people are saying it because they truly, truly want to do it or if they even, it's because they've been conditioned. Because even in this economy, having one stream of income is not even the smartest thing to do. Like I feel like that mentality of just working at 9 to 5 and only having your salary as your source of income is so 1960s. In this day and age, there's so many sources of income. There's, there's having one source of income being a nine to five is, is not is not it anymore. Now there's so many ways people can make money, and it's actually normal to have different streams of income besides you're just one. So why put all your eggs in one basket? Because imagine if you had a great paying salary, and right now in this crisis you lost it. What now? What now? Mm. Food for thought. Ooh, okay. I'm back. I was starving. I had to eat. Ooh. I literally am the clumsiest person ever. Fun fact. I'm super clumsy. I lose everything. And I literally drop everything. Okay, lashes are on. I'm gonna just uh, smoke underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go in with Revenge and Played Out and smoke it underneath my eyes. Go in with Revenge first. But yeah, um, today is really cloudy and rainy outside too, so. I guess outside's going through it too. Okay, I'm gonna just put mascara. Yeah, I'm gonna go run my errands, come back, and edit my video. I need a workout. Sis has been trying to like lose weight on quarantine. How much weight have I lost? Overall, 20. I'm down 20. I'm like five. I'm super, super close. I'm happy. I made it to my goal, my first goal. I still have like another 10, 15 to lose. I still want to be thick. Like I still, I, I like, I like the thickness, but. I'm just trying to be at like 180. I'm already done with my face. Hopefully whenever I edit this, this video makes sense because sometimes I have a bad habit of rambling and just like talking about things that like don't even make sense. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, what was I even talking about? <gasps> I'm, trying to, I'm using my modern Renaissance palette as my blush because I actually hate this palette on my eyes. Like. I don't know, maybe I should give it to someone. I literally, every time I wear it, I hate it. Every single time I wear this eyeshadows on my eyes, I don't know what it is. I think it's like the colors or the, <sighs> every single time. I used it earlier and I just wiped it off. Where one of these shadows is a highlight. I tend to choose, I tend to do that. Cause for one, I don't feel like searching for a highlighter. And then two, I don't feel like searching for a highlighter. <laughs> That's honestly the reason. I'm aware the fuck. Mm, 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 mm. Do you even need one? Just wear. Palettes are multi purpose. Like, you don't just use what you have. Make the best of it. 
I definitely have not even contoured. I almost completely stepped up, missed that step. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna have to like powder contour by now. I'm already too far in. Okay. I found one, the black radiance one. my nose a little right here okay you know the the powder I always go with you know I like it don't be shy okay um I kind of want to smoke underneath my eyes a little bit more it's a little bit not too smoky for me I need a little bit more smoke. You feel me a little bit. Oh. Finally. Alrighty, let me put on a lip. And I will actually wear lipstick today. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe because I don't know what you're waiting on. 